Hey, you guys. Welcome and welcome back. We're going to do another reading for you guys real quick to see what you need to know at this time. We're going to see what the messages are. So sit back, relax, you guys. Get comfortable. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. If you guys like the video before you go. That would be a great help. I appreciate you all for being here and be sure to leave me some comments below to let me know what you think of this reading, okay, for the collective guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for the collective. What is the message, spirit, that you have for the collective at this time? Okay, we have unbreakable bond. Interesting. Um, so you guys could be in an unbreakable bond here with a person, with yourself, with a situation, okay? It's mutual, though. Some of you are definitely finding a mutual point of agreement with another person. Some this, this bond cannot be broken. No one can come in between what you and this person have or what you have. Uh, 111, what you have with this individual. I won't hurt you. Interesting. So somebody has mutual feelings for you and they want you to know that they do not wish you any harm, that they do not mean you any harm. They may be a little clumsy. This person could be clumsy, like they may not be able to dance or they may have two left feet in a situation, but this is an unbreakable bond. This is like deep heart, deep feelings that somebody may have for you right now. Okay. The feelings between you and another person are mutual. They're they're about to show you that they don't want to hurt you or they don't want to cause you to feel any pain. Okay. Now, this could also be something you're manifesting. If you guys are manifesting something specific right now, the universe is in unison with you. Okay. You could definitely be feeling as if you're in alignment. Okay. Okay. There's an unbreakable bond that I feel like you have with whatever this is to where you're not going to give up on it. And there's going to be a return on your investment. What is the message for the collective spirit? All right. Yeah. So seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you're supposed to invest in whatever this is. Um, you're supposed to invest in whoever this is. This is going to make you very happy. Whatever this investment is, is going to make you very happy. OK, I feel like you're realizing that it's time to make this investment. And this is a very, very good opportunity, very lucrative. Um, there's a lot of possibilities. This could literally like end up being something that's extremely beneficial for you in the long run. If you invest now, you're going to be happy later. You're going to have a return on your investment later. Um if you put time and energy into this now, you're going to have some type of return on your investment later, uh, possibly in the next seven days, seven weeks, seven months. Um, looks like more like seven months. I would say seven weeks to seven months um, and really long term, seven years. OK, um, the seventh of a month. Or possibly um, July. There could be something revealed to you about this investment. Yeah, I feel like in seven months, the month of July, the seventh of a month, or possibly seven weeks. Um, in seven days, you may even have some signs come in. In seven weeks, furthermore, signs will come in. In seven months, you may actually be able to cash in or pick fruit from this investment. And in seven years, I feel like it could turn into something like the Ten of Pentacles, Justice, you know, things like that, okay? A Leo could be involved. Taurus could be involved as well. You could be a Leo or a Taurus. Um, those signs could be in your chart. What else for the collective? Mm, let me shuffle that again. There's a lot of happiness and freedom that's coming with whatever you're investing in right now. Okay. Somebody may also be wanting to invest in you. That's what I feel because you make them very happy. Oh, we have therapists. Someone needs to visit a therapist. Interesting. So you may feel like there's still work to be done. Okay, there's still something holding a person back or holding you back. Some of you 
interesting. You may be hesitating on whatever this is. Somebody may be trying to make you feel like something is mutual or that there's an unbreakable bond, but you're hesitating for some reason. Now, you're going to have to determine inside of yourself if this is your own personal uh, trauma being triggered because some of you have a really good situation right now that's kind of unbelievable to you and you may be at risk of self-sabotaging it. So you have to really go within yourself and like do those internal checks as to whether or not you're putting your own foot in your mouth. But I think for a lot of you, this is a situation where um, some of you may be feeling that somebody wants something mutual with you and that there's an unbreakable bond. And they may be trying to convince you that they won't hurt you, but I feel like some of you may not believe it. Okay. Someone could be dealing with some internal issues that you feel like they have to resolve. Uh, with the performer card, they may be putting on a show. They may be acting like things are all good. When in reality, they could be having some type of like personal setbacks or uh, just obstacles that they may be facing. And you may want, because you have uh, respect or love or appreciation for this person, you have a bond with this person, you may want them to get help, okay? This could be your child. This could be anyone in your life. This could be your parent, your sibling. I feel like this is anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. Uh, but because I feel like you have a strong connection with this person, you may want them to realize within you that you're serious and they may have some type of inner issues or deep-seated trauma that's preventing them from believing that you're serious. That could be you or them. What else for the collective? Abundance. Yes, there's something very abundant about this opportunity that's coming in for you. You're about to be notified about it or you're about to be made aware of whatever this opportunity is, either through like your crown chakra where the information is coming down your third eye or through some type of program. Some of you may have invested in therapy um, or invested in a program where you want to be better. You want to be happier. You want to, you know, alleviate some type of depression or sadness or hesitation that you may feel about your life. Okay. And I don't think it's going to hurt. Like if you guys have been thinking about reaching out to someone for more help, it's not going to hurt. It's going to be good. Okay. Experience. Yes. The experience is going to bring you a lot of abundance. Yep. A lot of abundance is coming towards your existence because this experience that you're embarking upon. And it could be an unbreakable bond between you and a therapist, a professional. They want to help you and you want to get the help. And it's not going to hurt you. Uh, this could be an unbreakable bond between someone who's offering you a job or an, uh, an employment opportunity where they want to see you grow and you want to help, you know, maybe their company grow or you want to help yourself grow. Uh, or it could be a relationship for some of you guys where someone is actually here for you and you have to be able to trust it through dealing with your own inner conflicts um, or vice versa, where they have to learn how to trust you. Okay. Let's see. Let's get one card for advice. We're going to get a crystal card for advice, you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Be sure to hit the like button before you go. Leave me a comment. Let me know whether or not this reading resonated with you. I really appreciate all of you for being here. And I hope to see you again soon. Be sure to subscribe. What's the advice for the collective? Okay, you got two. You got Azurite, get laser focused. And then you got Lemurian Quartz, practice patience. Yeah. So whatever this is, is going to require patience and focus. Okay. Whatever this is, is going to require patience and focus. It's time to transform. This is your transformation. This is your evolution. Crystal Cola, start fresh. Yep. It's time for you to have a fresh start, you guys. It's time for you to turn over a new leaf. It's time for some new energy to come into your life. But you're going to have to be very diligent about what it is that you're doing. You cannot give up. Whatever this is, is going to yield you exactly what it is that you want when it comes to the abundance and the wish fulfillment that you see for your life. 
but you have to put focused effort into it. I feel like you can't just half-ass that shit, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the message. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, leave me comments below, you guys. Anything you need to know is in the description box, and I'll see you next time. Bye.